Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a declutter and organization of a few cabinets in my kitchen. So if you guys need to organize and declutter, declutter in your kitchen, this is the video for you. Um, I'm going to have a lot of music, but I still will be some do some talking, so turn it up and let's get started. First thing I am showing you guys is an overview of how the cupboards that I'm going to do. Um, they are just, there are some things that I need to get rid of, there's some things that I need to put in the right spot. It's just kind of a hot mess and what is there right now, frankly, just is not working. So we're going to organize and declutter all of this. For this video, I decided to use the KonMari method of decluttering and organizing. Um, this method, to be honest, I kind of modify it, but for this video, I wanted to stay true to it. Um, the first step is to remove everything from your cabinets. Um, we are not doing the bottom cabinets because I think I did that in a recent video. So these top ones I have not done in a really, really long time. So here I am, I'm going to remove every single thing from the cabinet. And like I told you guys, um, looks can be deceiving. So if you first looked at this cabinet, you would have thought, oh, it looks pretty good. But when you dive deeper into it, you'll realize that it was quite the hot mess. And after is going to be so amazing. Um, it, the cabinet will become more functional and just things in a more logical space. And let me know what you guys think down below. For me, sometimes the KonMari method with taking everything out can be kind of overwhelming. But since most things were in tubs, I even though everything I took out of the shelf, I went through the tubs individually and organized them that way. So that made it not so overwhelming for me. But let me know what you guys think of the KonMari method of decluttering. Well, oftentimes I use it, but I modify it so I don't feel so overwhelmed. So look at everything all sprawled out and now I am going to wipe down this cupboard. It was pretty disgusting and gross. And then after that, I'm going to go through each of the bins individually and get them all sorted out. So I'm gonna put a large trash bag on the ground. There was actually a lot of stuff. There were things that were expired and just things that were, um, either they were used up and we just had put the empty container in there, so I needed to go through a lot. So here I am making my way through each of the tubs, which made it a little bit more manageable. Um, a lot of baking things, I had a ton, I had a ton and a ton and a ton of food coloring, and a lot of it was crusty and had spilled, so I'm just condensing down everything. If anything's open and crusty, I'm throwing that away, and then I'm just putting everything in Ziploc bags so I can make it a little bit cleaner and a little bit neater. And then um, next after that, I'm just gonna make my way through each of the tubs. I'm gonna go through the lunch items. Brooklyn had a lunch, an extra lunch box in there. I am going to um, put that in the donation pile. My husband's lunch box is big. It does not fit in this bin. And my son, he likes to bring, if he brings lunch, it in a Ziploc bag. Um, after everything has been cleaned out, I'm sitting it on the floor over here just so I can tell myself that's done and to move on to the next. With the cans, I decided to buy just a different tray for them. I actually wind up putting them on a little um, Lazy Susan. I just thought that suited them better. We are not a can good family. We just don't, like we do not eat a lot of things out of cans. So I had to make sure I checked the dates on these to make sure they were still good, which they were. Um, I think I bought them in March when everything went, like the stores barely had anything. Just so if we didn't have anything, we had soups to eat. So um, the cans I'm gonna put on a lady lazy susan but there it's actually not in yet um the later half of this video would have been filmed two days later when all of my items came in 
and then this is the tea um, area and I just we have like an electric tea kettle that I love but I don't use it that much um, I just made sure that all of its parts were in that area and then I'm washing off this little plastic circle piece we keep that underneath our toaster so that the crumbs can fall in there instead of in the cabinet it works pretty good but they still get everywhere after a while So I'm going to take this moment to introduce myself, especially if you are new to my channel. Thanks for making this far into my video, but my name is Dream. I live in Southern California with my husband and our two children. Um, my daughter will often be featured in many of our, my videos. You'll see her helping me clean and organize. My husband and my son, they're a bit shy, so they are not typically featured on my YouTube videos. Um, if you are not following me on Instagram, you should head over there to follow me. There I post more day-to-day -day life. My YouTube channel is pretty much cleaning, organizing, decorating, and then hauls. Um, cleaning hauls, um, supply hauls, organizing hauls, uh, decor hauls, all of those things. So if you like that sort of content, don't, for, don't hesitate to follow me on YouTube and then go over to my Instagram to follow me there as well so you can catch up on my day-to-day -day life. let's do some questions I want to know let me know down below in the comments what is your least and best your least favorite thing to clean and what do you love cleaning so what is the thing that drives you crazy to clean and then what do you love cleaning so my least favorite thing probably would be our glass showers like they drive me crazy I do not enjoy cleaning our glass shower. My favorite thing to clean would probably be anything that probably involved organizing because, oh my gosh, I get such a high from the after, like how everything looks after. So organizing cupboards, organizing a closet, organizing drawers, anything. That's probably my favorite thing to do. But least favorite would be scrubbing and cleaning my shower doors. If you do have a solution to cleaning your shower doors that is like amazing and doesn't involve 25 steps, also let me know that down in the comments below. I would love to learn your tricks and your tips to make that job a little bit more enjoyable for me. And I am so sorry guys about this angle just really awkward over here, so you probably, you're going to be staring at my bum, and I'm really sorry, but I just didn't really know a different way to position the camera so that it would look better for you guys, but you guys can see me doing all this stuff and wiping down everything, so that's all that matters, but I'm really sorry about that. I'm going to be condensing 
dim this stuff down, give away a few items that we just don't need, and um, get everything just set, sectioned off just a bit better than it was before. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be way better than it was before. The um, cabinet above the microwave is just so awkward, and um, it's just hard to organize, but I'm showing you what I can of a bunch of stuff and it's gonna work so much better. to the end so this is this small cupboard cupboard over here there are our yeti cups on top and then we just have four coffee mugs our specialty ones and then i got this three tiered little um stand from amazon i need to take off that sticker but these are our everyday spices our other spices are stored in the um, pantry but that cupboard looks so much better and there's room to grow room to put more spices in there and then up here, I have all of our water bottles to one side. And then on this side, there is our coffee and then for my husband's little protein shakes. And then I'm showing you, this is our like wine cabinet and then more drink glasses. And the pic that pitcher was in the other cabinet, I moved it on top there but just better organized and it just looks a lot better. And then these are our everyday dishes. I didn't do much over here, but this is how they normally always look and they're just better organized. And like I said, we do have more coffee mugs. These are our everyday ones. And then here is our small pantry. So I opened up the whole thing to show you guys. So this is the top. I got that little Lazy Susan for the cans. So much better. And then everything just looks a million times better. And then this is this is where we keep the rest of our spices. And then I'll show you the rest of our pantry. So organized pretty well. And um, on the very bottom of this pantry shelf, we do keep our larger appliances. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Have a great day.